he's going to be my translator for this. <laughs> <laughs> feel to be going back after you know, five kind of difficult years at times to be going back to the All-Star game with your and doing it with the team that kind of invested a couple years in contracting you. Yeah, no, it's it's, uh, it's definitely satisfying. Um, you know, I appreciate it for sure. Uh, you know, you go through some years like I had, you start thinking if this is ever even a possibility again. Um, you know, and, and to be able to, you know, be in this position, like you said, you know, having a team take a chance on me with, you know, it, it wasn't an easy trigger to pull, I'm assuming, just because of the what it looked like previously. But, you know, they gave me a chance, and, and I'm, I'm happy to be able to do this for them. Marcel, what does it mean to you uh, for this All-Star appearance? Yeah, for me, it's mean a lot, you know. It's, it's when, I, when I was in the 2016 and 17, I was telling him that, that we was together, but he in the American League and I was in the National League, so I had to face him a couple of times in the LSR. But for me, it's amazing to, to bring, my, bring my kid to, to the LSR game. Now they they a little they grew up a little bit and they big and they learn about baseball and, and good experience for them. How about you going with the, the kid you used to call a little rookie? <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, I was I was calling like a rookie fresh, like a, you know, when when we we call him Dominican rookie fresh, is like the young guy that every everything is in, involved in the, in different things, like funny things, and and he's he's a he's a good man. He's he always follow guys, so that's an amazing person. Now that we are in the same team, I, we sharing a little bit more, and then he come he come my house and. And I go to his house, so we have like a more confidence than the before when we was in another team. So we're close to the, in the same area in, in Dominican Republic. So I love him and I'm proud of him, the, the way he do this year. So hopefully he continue doing his stuff and, and have a side young, two side young in, in the same team. So. <laughs> kind of talked about the adversity that each player going from this team has gone through to get to this point. When you think about the significance of going after all that you've overcome, how much sweeter does it become? Yeah, I think I think there's a definitely a unique story to each individual guy, right? Um, you know, we, we've had our, our problems to get up back up to this spot. Um, you know, Lopi, you know, really being a reliever over the last couple of years and like, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, he's the best pitcher in the league right now. I mean, you look at what he's done from start to finish, he's the guy. And that's not easy to do in, you know, your first year back. You know, he's new team, becoming a starter after pitching out of the bullpen for a couple of years. Um, it's, it's, it's impressive. So, I'm, I, you know, this is, this is exciting for us, but we're, we're, we're really excited for him because the, there's nothing like the first one. Marcel, I asked Ronaldo, as he was leading the league in ERA, did he give himself a chance to think that this might be? But I would ask the same of you as you're you know, racking up home runs and, and up in the league leaders and RBIs. Did you allow yourself to think? No, I don't. I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't saw April. It's like he's going. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think about that. You know, it's it's natural come. So when I tried too much, I, w I was talking to. To, to my guy over there, when I t when I'm trying too much, the team doesn't doesn't going well. So I just trying to think like a small piece, and then and then that's all the homer come and then, and then all of those things. So when I go up there, I just trying to get a good swing and 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 put the ball in play. So anything happen when you put the ball in play, and I don't worry. If you got give me whatever they give me, I'm gonna take it. I take it what 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 God give me. So it's gonna have fun. How much does it mean to you, given the fact that you've had so many injuries up and down the lineup, that you've kind of, you know, been thrust into this role to be the guy offensively, uh, as opposed to last year when you guys were able to do so much damage collectively as a lineup? You know, it's, it's a little hard some, sometimes when you when you going back and you look at the lineup last year and then this year we started together and then a couple guys missing right now and then a couple guys are struggling, but they, I. I got faith all the time. I got faith, so they're gonna they're gonna go back and then help the team. So, and we're facing the the, the best thing in the in the league, uh, apart to the Dodgers. The Dodgers is the, is the best one, but 
the the Phillies they had a good team, so we we battling win the series against them is is gonna like a little point that we gonna we gonna get back and and fight for the first spot. Marcel, what's impressed you most with what Chris has done this season and just throughout his career? <laughs> I I know surprise on him. I know he he's the best. <laughs> I never surprise on him. I know he's the, he's the best and and. Always, always. I love, I love the way he pitches. He got, he got, he got, he got grind. He grind every time he go out there. He say like, I don't care who you are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out there and strike you out. That's, if you give me, you give me. So I got you next. So I love the way he pitches. I'm gonna tell God, please give me this year all the all year healthy, and then he can show what 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 he can do. So I love him. Chris, you middle. Pitching every five, six days is probably hard to reflect. Do you anticipate maybe taking some time and reflecting either in Texas or as you're going down there, just kind of how well this this season has gone? I don't think now's the time to do it. I I want to go to Texas. I want to enjoy the experience. Um, you know, I want to be able to experience it and have some fun with my teammates. Um, you know, with my family's going to be there, my kids, and I, I really. Feel like stuff like that is meant for kind of the end of the year, uh, when it's all said and done. Because you can't, nothing's done right now. You can't, you can't hang your hat on what you've done now because you do that, it's going to be a tough road ahead. I, I believe so. Um, go down to Texas, have some fun, enjoy the experience. But when we get back, it's, it's back to it. It's another role. <laughs> we got to take another role and then keep continuing. Never give up. How nice was it to see the uh, offense explode for nine homers in this series after, you know, kept sputtering at, at times in the first three months of the season? Do like he it. said, we, we, we never lose faith. I know, I know what it might look like from the outside um, at times, right? But for us, we, we show up every day to win. And if it doesn't work, you know, we go home, get some figure it out. We figure out. Show up the next day, ready to go. So, um, what what we've seen is is what we expect on a daily basis, and I think that no nobody in there is, is gets surprised by this because this is who we are. This is what we know we can do, um, and when we don't, hey, keep working, keep fighting, keep swinging, keep doing what you do, and it'll be there. Chris, obviously these selections are made with on-field performance, but when you think about everything Marcelo Zuno has meant to this group in the clubhouse and the dugout on a gameway basis, how would you describe it? It's a lot of fun. He, so I obviously have played against him a lot, but um, being on the same side is a lot of fun. He, he brings a lot of energy, and he's, you know, he's, very, uh, he's in the center of it. Everyone gravitates towards him. He's, he's, he's the guy to be, you know, and like what you guys have said, we, you know, guys, guys look up to him because of what he's done, the experiences he's had, and, and what he does on the field, but because of who he is in the clubhouse as well. Um, if he's in the room, it's never dull. And that's, that's what you need. And that's, that's what makes this game fun. Those are the teammates you remember forever. Chris, you said you were look, looking forward to the experience. Just, what's that like? What, what are you most looking forward to? Just see, seeing other ball players, just the, the event, the baseball tradition of it? What are you looking most forward to? I grew up watching, you know, I'm, I'm a pitcher now, but we were, we all like to hit homers when we were a kid. So, you know, one of my favorite things is the home run derby. Um, uh -oh. um, and yeah, and just, just kind of catching up with some of the guys around the league, either guys you've, you know, you faced a lot uh, or you've played with on, on, on other teams. Um, I enjoy it for my kids too. Like they, they, they think it's a really cool experience. I, you know, I was sitting next to my dad when I was a kid you know, watching, you know, Mark McGuire hit homers and, you know, and, and watching all-star games and just the festivities that are. So to be able to actually be there now uh, and experience that both with my father and my kids, um, it's, it's, it's pretty surreal at times. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so, will you do the home run, I don't know yet. <laughs>